Hi, Richard Duffy from Leverage Technologies here with another one of our Leverage Technologies tech tips for you. So around this time of the year, a lot of people are creating a new, uh, a new financial period um, or a new calendar year. And uh, one of the questions we commonly get you know, on our support desk is how do I do that? So I'm going to show you exactly how in this quick tech tip video. So the best way to do this is to make sure that you do actually have super user access into the system. Um, anytime you're doing these kinds of admin tasks, it's always best to, to do that. And it's always best to try and do this when you're the only user in the system to avoid any potential confusion with people inside your organization. So I'm logged in again using the SAP Business One web client and it's very easy to do this. All you simply do is you go into administration and then you're going to go into your system initialization and then we go here into posting periods. All right, now you'll see every single period that I have um, specified in my system. And the easiest way to do this and make sure you've got a new period created. Now, of course, you can scroll down to the end and you can see all the periods that you have there. Um, and you can see I've actually created right up to the end of 2016. But all you have to do, let's say you've only created up to the end of 2014. All you need to do is go here and click on new period. The system automatically will detect based on the previous periods that you've created what is the next period that needs to be done. So you'll see in this particular instance, it's saying, well, the next period you need to create is period is 2017. And it will use all the standard formatting that you've used for the creating the previous periods here for setting those up. So you can go and specify what you want to do here. Now, important point to note, this posting date and the due dates and the document dates, these are important to specify because when you're posting to this new fiscal period. If you try and use one of the, if you try and use a document that doesn't have a date inside one of these, like it's a posting date that isn't in this range or a due date that isn't in this range or a document date that isn't in this range, it's gonna deny you the ability to do that. So sometimes it's a good idea to give yourself a couple of days either way, either side of the, of the financial period to allow when you're creating these dates. So that way, you know, when you're closing your period and you've got additional transactions coming in from your suppliers or maybe you're doing some last minute invoicing or whatever the case may be, it gives you that flexibility. Or of course, as you probably are aware, you can go in and you can change the system date in SAP Business One anyway. So it thinks that you're putting it through uh, in that previous period. But anyway, um, our period code here is going to be 2018, so I'm really setting things up into the future. And our period name, I'm just going to make it 2018. And then you specify, well, what are the sub-periods? Do I want to have months, quarters, days? So I always work on months. And how many periods do I have? Well, I have 12 months. Uh, you can have 13 periods if you want to. Um, so you've got a closing period, but in this particular case, I'm going to have my uh, my 12 periods. And then you can specify well, what's my period indicator. I'm going to say default, and then I'll say double check that those dates are okay, which I'm happy with them. So that's all good. And then I'll say add business one. Then rattles away, creates those periods for you, and then you're good to go. So now let's say you've created those, and you want to make sure nobody makes any mistakes with this. Um, what you can do is you can go ahead and you can um, lock and unlock those periods, but that's a, that's a subject for a different tech tip. So there you have it. So I'm going to say, okay, that's now done. My new posting periods are created. I hope this has been a useful video for you. Again, remember, got questions, send me an email, richard.duffy at leveragetech.com.au. Uh, visit us online through one of our social media outlets, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube. Uh, we're happy to talk to you any way that it works for you to talk to us. Give us some suggestions. And of course, if you like this video, please remember in YouTube to click the like button. Thanks again.